morning everyone. It's Vlogmas Day 19. Ah, I can't believe it's so close to Christmas. Yeah. How are you feeling? Perfect. That's exactly what we hope for. A casual shrug. <laughs> How would you rate your casual shrug on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> what does the 1 to 10 mean in this case? You know. <laughs> 5. Perfect. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, it's time for me to get up and get going. Unfortunately, Amanda is very comfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. The worst. Whose side are you on? <laughs> I have returned home from work early because I worked a bunch of extra hours this week so I could leave early. I have off tomorrow because I'm going to a bunch of doctor's appointments, but after that... Woo! Star Wars! Star Wars will be ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so mad about spoilers, I know already. Yo, don't tell me anything. I'm not telling you a thing. I heard there were lightsabers and that's it. How dare you tell me this? That was not the spoiler. Sorry. I'm so mad now. So Amanda went to a doctor today. I'm not going to tell the whole story, mm -hmm. but the short version is she's going to have a very hard night. Yeah, it's going to suck. <laughs> starting some new meds. That's a little scary for her. So we're going to cuddle up, watch a bunch of uh, Christmas movies. Maybe I can talk her into watching Last Jedi. Possibly. Possibly. We'll see. Either way, we're going to hang out. Yay. I mean, it's me. Don't, don't yay that. Mm -hmm. I've and, met me. Me is terrible. And Christmas <laughs> movies. Christmas movies do help. Yes, they do help a lot. Guess what, everybody? Amanda did drugs. Yay! I look terrible. You don't look terrible. I've Have been, you seen my hair today? I've been panicking for like almost 40 hours now, so... You've been doing so well. I don't know how you're not like totally asleep right now. Because I'm too scared to be asleep. We actually got like seven hours of sleep last night, so that's pretty good for us. Lately. I didn't, but... I got seven I hours of sleep. Early. We were in bed for seven hours <laughs> and I slept the entire time. Uh, our roommate said she wouldn't be surprised if I fall asleep and just don't wake up until the new year. <laughs> You're just done with this decade. Start I'm over. Like, yep. I mean, I pretty much am. Pretty much. It's pretty freaking true. We're going to play some Mario Kart now, something a little more interactive. Holla! You know, Christmas stuff was getting to be a bit passive, so we're going to do that. Possibly while playing the Leah Michelle Christmas album in the background. If you if must. That's okay, since I didn't get to go to her tonight now. Yeah, that was the plan. We were going to go see Leah Michelle in the city. Uh, for those who do not know, Leah Michelle was uh, Rachel Berry on Glee. And she's also was in Spring Awakenings on Broadway. I was going to say, she's a very famous Broadway singer and performer. She's amazing. I just have to gush about her. And I think not the best very, dancer. Very good chance that Jonathan Groff's going to be there tonight. I think there's a decent chance that Darren Chris is going to be there tonight. So I am not happy. Darren Chris has touched you. I know. He's also thrown sweat on you. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I know. <laughs> Like I said, my, uh, the friend I made there was pretty much like, oh, he don't know about your partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your friend was like, oh, you don't know. They're gonna They're gay. Dude. And I'm like, no. Nah. I'm bi, or technically omnisexual, so we know. We, <laughs> we are aware. Yeah, so I'm pretty sad. You know what? I'm not even kidding. If I feel a lot better, I'm mad tempted to see on Saturday if there are tickets available on Saturday, and even though it would be a lot of money to go then. I'm just being open with you. I really want to see Mia Michelle. I've wanted to see her for 11 okay, years. Okay, look. I'm not saying no. I am saying we'll see. With the expectation that there is a 0% chance that this is going to happen. I think there's a decent chance by Saturday I may feel better enough that I'm like, yeah, I can do that. It's scary, but I can do that. Let's see how Star Wars goes. Yeah, I'll see how Star Wars goes. I'll see how I feel on Saturday. But the fact that she's performing two more times, I may check and just see if there are any more tickets so I know if it's even possible. You have a habit of doing this. Like, you'll be sick and you'll be, like, in pain for days and weeks and months sometimes, like you did with Lyme disease. Yeah. And then you'll get your medication and you're like, I solved the thing! And you're, like, trying to do all these things and you're just kicking your own ass. You don't understand. Like, literally, they don't understand. You do. <laughs> literally, the minute Leah Michelle announced she was going to put out a Christmas album, I messaged her within three minutes and I meant this means she's going to do a Christmas concert in New York City because it's called Christmas in the City and I'm going and I don't care. I don't care how much it is. Yeah. I don't care where it's at. No, you spent I'm entirely going. too much money. I did, because I was like, And I you care. gave the tickets away, which, Merry Christmas to that person. Yeah, I could have tried to sell the tickets. Which is my primary motivator for being like, don't buy another set of tickets. 
Well, that's why it's gonna, I'm thinking, I'm gonna see if there's even tickets available, so I know if it's possible. And then on Saturday, I would do it like the day of, you know what I mean? But I was gonna try to sell the tickets, but at that point, one, it was like so close, I wasn't sure I would sell, because I don't think the shows are sold out. Um, yeah. It sucks, but I don't think she's doing that well. But, and she should be, because The fact amazing. that I felt the need to explain who she is. Yeah. So I just wanted, I figured I've been feeling really down lately and kind of useless, so I thought if I could maybe make somebody else really happy as a surprise thing, I'm like, this is fun. Someone's going to be no, like, what is happening tonight? It's turning your pain into something positive for somebody else. Well, I think that's important. I like the that's idea. That's basically art. I Right? I really like the idea, of, and very Christmassy. I like the idea of somebody at 4 p.m. on the afternoon finding out they get to go to a concert with someone they love tonight. three hours from yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. And she's even going by herself she's not even bringing anyone so she's going to spend the night by herself it sounds like and instead she's with Leah Michelle and I think that's so cool like that person's going to have a good freaking night you know knock on wood well I hope so I would prefer selfishly that you have a good night oh you don't even understand I really love this album. I really love Leah Michelle. I really love Christmas. I'm supposed I to. I understand pretty well, but I feel like you're telling me there's like levels to this that you haven't exposed me to. I hold back all <laughs> the time. You don't understand. Also, uh, like I love you and I understand that you're my partner, but I'm supposed to be married to Jonathan Groff. I understand that as well. I am supposed to be our Darren Chris, but he's very hairy and already married. Works for me. I know it works um, for you. Jonathan Groff is, as my uh, friend put his self when he explained, it's like, oh, we'd be married otherwise. He's like, we'd be married if I wasn't vaginally challenged. That's how he called himself. That's how he called I mean, himself. same. <laughs> but that's how he called himself gay, and I was very amused. I'm like, vaginally challenged is my favorite term for gay I've ever heard. I love this. <laughs> He's very clever. Well, anyway, uh, obviously today is also the day that Joe Rowling all but confirmed that uh. she's... <laughs> TERF, which stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, and um, there's still a part of me that's hoping she's just really stupid. I, which is not a whole lot. It's been better. years. It's been years that she's been in with these people. Yeah, like, but all that stuff is not news. Stuff that you could have been like, this might be stupid. This was pretty direct. I, this was very direct. The other stuff, like the other stuff, is stuff that we could be like. We spent hours talking, like, oh, well, maybe she meant this, or maybe she's one of the people that's been mis misled to believe this. We're like, well, we think there's still chance for her. And now this I don't is know like why. so direct. I'm like engaging in like friends comments, like friends are posting about it and I'm engaging in those comments on Facebook and I'm like, what am I doing? Like torturing yourself. Exactly. You know, it sucks because Harry Potter was like super important to me as an abused queer person, you know, like. Yeah, it's like literally the most important grounding thing in my life besides right? my religion. It's like literally my religion and then Harry Potter. And I'm so, not even kidding. So the way that I cope with it is to basically love the art, hate the artist, but like. Which is what <sighs> our roommate was recommending. And then I was telling her, I'm like, yeah, except I feel like now I can't go to Wizarding World because I don't want to give money to Joe. Now I can't go to like the WB studio tour because I don't want to give money to Joe. And I really want to do all those things. I really want to buy merch really want to do all that. I really want to go see Fantastic Beast. And now I'm like... <sighs> yeah, like a good... I have a playlist on my channel about Harry Potter stuff that, like, you know, we talk about it all the time. Right. And, like, it was super important to me. And I understand that she's a problematic person. You know, she's a person. She's got her own stuff and everything, and she needs to learn and grow. But, like, listen, I was rejected by my family of origin. I really don't need to have that rejection all over again from someone who was very important to me. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not going to waste my time trying to, like, fix this and educate people who do not want to learn and do not want to accept people like me. What's the point? You know, I'd sooner fight with my family and they don't want to accept or love me either, so what's the point? Warning you for filming purposes, I almost feel like I'm going to project out of it. All right, well, aim elsewhere. <laughs> You're going to be okay. Yeah. Meds be hitting. So Amanda's having a bit of a rough night. Let's go play a very dizzying video game. Yeah. Perfect. Well, this is just an anxiety thing for a second. I'm being hungry, but I don't know. It kind of feels like it did when I projected I vomited from the antibiotics before. A different kind of thing. It's gonna be okay. Can you stop filming? Yeah. I think I love you. So it's time for us to go play some Mario Kart. I'm not setting up all the Twitch stuff. That's gonna take at least 10 minutes, so I'm not gonna bother with that. We're gonna play a game. And then we're gonna go back to watching uh, holiday movies and probably open our advent calendars. All right. Later, folks. I'm sorry you're doing new meds. It's okay, it's just scary. Especially because in a little bit I have to take a med an hour earlier than I'm technically supposed to, and I know my doctor told me to, but I'm like, that's gonna make the side effects worse. No, you're just, you're gonna get through this. It's only one week. So it happens to be a week of Christmas. I do find it interesting that I like, 
want to go to bed at like 8.30 when normally I don't, I can't handle that panic line. So like apparently a like 36 hour on and off continual panic attack will make you really tired. Want to catch up on sleep? Treat your insomnia? Get really sick with a lot of OCD and anxiety. <laughs> it's fun! And depression. Sorry for dragging you through it. No, it's okay. I'm your partner. I love you. I know. I know it was rough on you. Mm. I love you. Besides, I was at work through most of this, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, she was funny when I said that our roommate, I was like, oh yeah, she took off work to come here, and she looked and like, and I'm like, she's a really good friend, she's like, I was about to say, and I'm like, I know. <laughs> that sounds 100% like our doctor. Right, and she was like, uh, our roommate was like, uh, really quiet, and then I told her later, I'm like, oh, it was nice that she wanted to compliment you, and she's like, that was so awkward, <laughs> but she can't handle compliments, so, oh. I can't either, to be fair, so no judgment. Neither can I, I get really argumentative, I'm like, no. I mean... <laughs> I think it depends. If it's a gender compliment, you don't. Oh yeah, if it's a validation thing, I'm yeah. like, give me, Unless give me that. Unless you're feeling like really dysphoric, <laughs> then normally it's like, oh, you look so pretty in that dress. You're like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I need to feel a little no, good about fine. myself. I'm just saying you're better at taking compliments than you think you are. Fair enough. I've grown a lot with that. Yeah, I think it depends on like the mood you're in. Well, we're gonna go back to Amanda playing Breath of the Wild, and, and it's the only thing helping me right now. It's just, just engaging Zelda. enough, you know. It's very calming being in that world and it's super immersive. Until you encounter a Lionel or a uh, See, I Guardian. See, avoid a Lionel right now. See, that's just it. Like, you're just doing exploring mode and that's why you found like four times as many Korok seeds as I have. Plus I have a sense for them. Yeah, I don't get I it. I just know like, like something seems different on the map. I'm like, this is Something different. about the way your brain and my brain perceive that information or the fact that I was just so mission oriented with like, no, we're gonna do the things and Get the power-ups and save See, the princess. The like, mission-oriented stuff I suck at. Yeah, no, I can do that. So basically what you're saying is between the two of us, we need to share a Breath of the Wild save. That's true, we could do that. But I feel like we'd get really jumpy with each other. Yeah, I feel like we'd have to like segment it out. Like, the first six swords are mine. <laughs> I feel like we're all like we're both very particular about how we play the games. That would go, I agree. We play oh, very differently, but I love a game that has that much diversity in the gameplay. Yeah, like no, our experiences exactly. through that game were totally different. They still are. Yeah, they're very different. I have to finish my Pokemon game. So the thing could possibly do tonight. Definitely. I have, we, have, we still haven't played the new one. We have no, Shield. Yeah, we we have haven't played to. it. We haven't played. Well, well I, I haven't played Luigi's Mansion. I haven't either. I assumed you wanted to film both though, so I've been kind of waiting. I do, but I'm almost like to the point where I'm like, maybe I just want to play it and then review it or something. That would be fun. Like let yourself just play it. Yeah, because like it puts to... extra pressure on me. Should I play Luigi's Mansion like when you're at work or something so I don't spoil you? I would say yes. Okay, but I assume like after it, like, you played it. Y'all don't understand. It's still in the plastic. Like, yeah, yeah. I haven't even opened it. No, we've been really crap at doing this. For all I know, the game's ourselves. not in there. <laughs> yeah, we've been really bad at doing stuff like this for ourselves. Yeah. All right, well, speaking of self-care, it's time for our advent calendars. Whee! That's self-care. In a sense. This upside down. Today was the 19th? 18th. 18th? Yeah. I don't know, it all blends together. I found mine. I just found the 19th first, and I was like, all right. <laughs> You tried to best me. And look uh -huh. how few days are left. Where's the 18th? I got another Santa's bag. Didn't you get two Santa's bags too? Hold on. Hold on. No, really. There isn't a 19th. Uh, 18 rather. I already did it. There must be. Yeah, 18 was yesterday. Wait, is today the 19th? Today is the 19th. Oh, well that would mean I have two. That's right, because I need my chocolate sign because it's going to be Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. You messed me up. <laughs> well, again, 36 hour panic attack. And five hours, well, four on. hours of sleep. I don't ever have much sleep. I don't know. I got a train. Now I got the dog dressed as a reindeer. So, again, kind of nauseous from all the panic and stuff. So tomorrow I'll just think it's the 18th again. Basically, you're locked in a time loop. An infinite time loop. December 18th, the time before I had to start meds. See, I mean, I couldn't do what you do. All the meds you take. It's not that many. It's really just my vitamins in the morning. Yeah, I don't One, count the vitamins. Yeah. One spironolactone every 12 hours and then uh, one progesterone every 24. And then an injection once a week. The, in the once a week injection. It's too much. <laughs> I mean, that that was, it went fine last time. It would be time. too much for me. Yeah. I couldn't do it is what I'm saying. You would if you had no choice. I know. I don't, actually don't know. 
I know plenty of trans women who are like oral or sublingual and that is it. I'd rather do a little thing once a day than a crazy thing once a week. I literally don't know if I could take hormones and part of the reason I know that like even if I needed hormones I don't know if I could is I've done that too with the birth control when I was in that much pain. I'm like and like that depressed once a week a month and everything too. I'm like I just mmm I, I can't. <laughs> like I get so freaked out. <laughs> It definitely affects my PTSD, and we still have to make that video. Yeah. But like, it definitely my my cycle definitely impacts my uh, my PTSD. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So that is all for Vlogmas Day 19. Sorry. Now I'm like worried. I'm like, did I do my Vlogmas video wrong? <laughs> well, you put up the one for oh, yeah, the 18th the one today. For today. So that's probably also what's confusing. That's what's me. that's what's messing with you. Yeah. You you do your release at a different time than I do. You do it like. 14 hours later than me. It just depends like on when I actually get it filmed. Like if I'm feeling super anxious or depressed, I tend to film on the day of and then post it. So then it goes up whenever I get it done, depending on when I did that. Otherwise I can put up at 10 in the morning. It just depends on like, how is my brain doing today? <laughs> I for one am glad that we're reaching the end of Vlogmas because this is insane. And even though we found a better balance with like sleeping and everything with it, it's like, it's so much. It's so much. It doesn't look like a lot, but like, you know, I'll start out with two hours of footage and have to crop it down to like 20 minutes, which means I have to basically watch two hours. Do you want to get stressed out now? Oh no. This is why Zoella got known as a Vlogmas queen on top of really like in Christmas, because not only would she do Vlogmas, she would do 24 days as Zoella and have 24 like scripted like content, not vlog, but just content videos. So she had on both channels a video a day. Nope. <laughs> it's a lot. Nope. And she like- I mean, maybe if you're like a full-time YouTuber and that's like your only thing, but like I lose 10 hours of my day to work. Yeah. And like, well, she's no, not a very I can't fast do editor. that. She's always complaining. She's not a very fast editor and she'll record like four or five hours of footage during her vlogs and she's like, why do I do this? Right? That would take at least six hours to actually edit. Yeah. You know? And that's why her vlogs usually end up being like 40 minutes long is because she takes like five hours of footage and I'm like, oh, Mia's going to hate this one. No. And no. usually like the uh, 24 Days of Zoella would include like guests and things like that. So she'd be collaborating with like guests flying in from the US and everything. No, too. but you, all the logistics of that and having to like... Oh and no, you all the relationship the month. Oh, during it. Like, thank God you live with me. <laughs> like, that makes our collaboration way so easier. I could just literally lean over and there you are. It's great. No, but I thought this whole concept <laughs> might stress you out. No. She quit God. doing it. She, I think she did that like one year and then she was like, yeah, that seems like the sort of thing no. you do once and never again. It may have been two or three, but I think I think it was just one year she did both. Well, either way, I'm glad that we're coming to an end of it. I think it's been really good for us so on the whole. Like, it's definitely motivated us to get our, like, decor up and everything and, yeah. or, you know, do all that. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty motivated to do that anyway. I don't need a whole lot of motivation. But it's motivated me, and yeah. I could definitely use the extra nudge around the holidays. You know, I've had some we trouble. We still got to decorate our tree in that room. I know. I still have to go through all those ornaments. They're kind of in a weird limbo state with my whole parents' yeah. box thing that I went through. Oh no. Um, which I threw everything out from there, but this is the other stuff that I previously had deemed worthy of keeping. Yeah. But I I'm think kind some of, are like gifts from our friends and stuff too. Yeah, right? those are fine, but I, I'm like having to reevaluate some of them in light of what I just yeah. did, and I'm like, oh, this is a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I have to think about it more. I'm not trying to force you, just letting you know. But the good news is that we have the weekend. We also have tomorrow, which is an extra day. Sort of, because we are doing Star Wars, we are seeing my doctor, we are doing a couple of other things. The point is, in theory, we have some time tomorrow. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, for real now, that is all for Vlogmas Day 19. We'll be back again tomorrow because Vlogmas is never ending. Yay! So, Christmas Day, that'll be the last video you get from me for a while. <laughs> Probably till New Year's. I was half debating editing together a video from the whole year and like doing like highlights or something, like a year wrap up or something. That's a fun idea. Yeah, except that like I realized, oh god, I'm dealing with like 72 hours of footage. <laughs> Yeah, we don't go through all all the footage necessarily. No. You'll probably look at a vlog and be like, oh, I remember what in this day I like. Well, I, don't even, I didn't even mean for Vlogmas, I meant for the actual entire year. Yeah. Um, As a like New Year's thing, because I started out the year very different looking and sounding. Yeah, and for that reason I like alone, that. I feel like I'm like, oh, maybe I don't want to do this. Yeah. Um, But it might be a fun little project. It might be good for you. It it's might be. It's a weird be. mix of bad for you and good for you. Right, it's like, 
proof that I've made progress, but also a crap load of work yeah. that's going to force me to hear my old voice and be like, oh right, remember when you used to live like this? Like, yeah. ooh. I try not to scroll down on my channel. I understand. All right. For real though, good night everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.